A reader wrote me an email recently. That's always a good feeling. He had a question about mastering software technique and general code learning that I'll bet a lot of you share. It's easy to go off the rails doing useful things rather than what I recommend, but why? Is it a problem? And how can it be fixed? More on that in a moment. Tyler wrote, lightly edited, Hey Noah, I hope responding to your mailing list gets routed back to you. <laughs> yes, it does. I heard you on the Rails with Jason podcast recently. The way you spoke really resonated with me. I appreciate your multidisciplinary perspective. After I finished the episode, I immediately bought Rebuilding Rails, and I watched your RubyConf talk about conscious coding practice. You really drilled into a feeling I have of wanting to get better. So for the past day or two, I've been trying this idea of playing with the code. I've run into a problem with my practice. If you have time, I'd appreciate some guidance. Here's what I've experienced the past couple of days. Picking my tool feels natural. I want to be a better Ruby, Rails, and JavaScript developer, so I pick Ruby by itself, Rails as a framework, or I write a Node.js program. There are a lot of tasks to choose from, but I find when I can easily pick a task, I struggle picking a purpose. I think the problem is that when I think of a task, it's usually related to solving a problem I have, building scripts to hit specific APIs, writing sample Stripe payment integrations, doing some work, sketching out an app idea that I have, but when it comes to these tasks, I really only land on the following purposes. One, solve the problem. Two, get better in the generic sense. And at the end of my exercise, since I've worked on a day-to-day -day problem, I'm inclined to save the work, host it on GitHub, etc. I mean, you said we ought to avoid that inclination, so I feel like I may have missed the mark here. When I pick a purpose, I struggle picking a task. When I choose a purpose, something like write more idiomatic code, learn how to create modular classes, get better at object-oriented programming, etc., I struggle to envision what task will serve that purpose. I think the core problem here is that I don't really know what I don't know, and I'm choosing purposes that aim to teach me the things I don't know, so defining the task is difficult. But what next? Do I need to just struggle through this some more? Uh, is this part of the process, or am I missing something that might help bring it all together? This is a great question, and I'm thrilled that he asked it. He also agreed that I could share it with all of you. I'll tell you what I told him. First off, yes, responses to my email list come back to me. Uh, that Gmail address is my personal one. It's what I use day to day. What I'm hearing from that description is that Tyler is trying to pick a useful task. He wants to save the work, to use it, or build on it later, and he's not quite sure what he wants to get good at. All of that means that he's not quite sure what he eventually wants. That's a hard problem, and it's one we all struggle with sometimes. I assume, as I read between the lines, that Tyler wants to pick a useful task and save the result because he's afraid of wasting his time. And there's nothing wrong with being afraid of wasting your time. I certainly am. But it's easy to over-optimize too early, to try to do useful stuff instead of what you need to do to learn, and wind up limiting your learning that way. To commit to learning, you first have to have a pretty clear goal. And so it sounds like that problem comes from another problem behind it, choosing and committing to a goal. Uh, Abdi would say direction, not a goal, which is, again, quite difficult for everybody. So it sounds like Tyler's big problem is in picking a purpose, and it's rippling into problems with tasks. Uh, that's common. I, I do the same thing. In my RubyConf talk, I mentioned three ways of picking a purpose. You can pick a person or skill to hero worship, you know, to want the same thing for yourself, and to work toward. That's one method. Or you can pick an obstacle to overcome. Or you can pick a weird direction to learn weird stuff. Uh, but I suspect the first method is the method for Tyler. He wants to get better, good, but it's not quite clear what that looks like. But when you think about getting better, there's probably some reason. Maybe you want to be rich, no judgment. Uh, or maybe you want other developers to admire you in a group, also no judgment. I share that one. Or maybe you just want that little internal light bulb moment in a difficult task, and to see that final domino fall years after you pushed over the first one. One way or another, there's a reason you got into this whole coding thing. Some part of it appealed to you. You should think about what that is for you and what the next step of it looks like. What did you want to do that hasn't happened yet? Who has a skill or a kind of respect you want? What good feeling were you hoping for that you haven't fully gotten yet or that you'd like more of? Building toward that should be your purpose. And Tyler's. 
Should he just struggle through it some more? Uh, well, that will eventually get him what he wants. I've been struggling through all this for 20 years, maybe 30, depending on when you start counting. And even though I sometimes do very ineffective things, I do make progress. Struggling beats not struggling. No question. But knowing why you're struggling may cut years off your journey. Knowing whether you're succeeding or failing gives you a sense of direction, a sense of, I'm heading that way, that can easily be lost. After Tyler picks his goal, I suspect that his next problem will be, but there are all these other things I wanted. Well, that's fair. Keep in mind that if you refuse to pick a task and stick with it, then you'll lose all of those things. But if you can struggle for a while with one at a time, you'll eventually achieve most of them. Which is easy for me to say. I'm on the far side of a lot of that struggling. But I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying that I haven't seen any other way to do it. Tyler seemed to think this was all a helpful reply. It's what I say to myself often enough. I hope you'll get something out of it too. Thank you.